Hey, it's Paul. I don't know whether you've ever noticed, but inside of your HTML, you don't really seem to get IntelliSense on your Angular components. This is also true for members inside of our class. So if we said my name is equal to Paul, and then if we looked inside of our HTML page and we tried to bind to that property, my name, we don't get any sort of IntelliSense when we're writing that. The same exists for other components. So within Ionic, we have stuff like Ion Content, as well as things like Ion Card. But you'll notice when I'm writing Ion Card, we also don't get any IntelliSense. Now, what if there was a way to get IntelliSense for every one of the things that I've listed? Well, fortunately, there is. Inside of Visual Studio Code, we can install the plugin Angular Language Service. So if you search the extensions in the marketplace, by saying Angular Language Service. It comes up number one here at the moment, it's version 0.1.3. And if we install this in our project, and then if we attempt to write the same code that we did before, so we'll start off again by saying our interpolation binding here. And then inside of that, if we start typing my name, the property of our class, we instantly get IntelliSense. As well as that, we can also see that the my name property is on the register page. And if I command click this, it takes me to that exact position inside of the register page. We can see it's line 17, my name is equal to Paul. It does get better than that though. For example, if we want to make a card by saying ion cards, the second that we type ion, we have a list of everything that starts with ion dash. So we can see things like ion cards. Inside of the ion cards, we might never have known that there was an ion card title or even header. We do now. So we've got the ion card header. We could do the same for ion card content. But it does even get better than this because inside the ion card content, if we had a button, and the button itself has a click event, and that click event is register, because this is of course the register page, we get instant feedback inside of our HTML telling us that there's an unknown method register inside of the register page. I don't know whether you like me and oftentimes you write stuff like register at this point in time then forget about actually implementing the function. If you are like me, then you're going to get this IntelliSense inside of your HTML. So I would wholeheartedly recommend this plugin. It's called the Angular Language Service. And like I said, you can get it inside of VS Code. If you found this useful and you want to see more videos like this investigating VS Code plugins, then of course let me know in the comments section below and check out the Learn Ionic 3 from Scratch course. I do have a discount code for that still up and running while the course is in early access. My name is Paul, hit that subscribe button to stay updated and I'll see you very soon in the next video.